Unveil the monument. A refurbished stone unveiled in Exeter, paying tribute to Nicholas Gilman. A man who believed in many things in the power of the government and the power of our Constitution. Gilman signed and helped to ratify the Constitution. He also served in the U.S. House of Representatives during the first four Congresses and the U.S. Senate until his death in 1814 on his way back home to Exeter after a recess in Washington. Nicholas Gilman Jr is my great, great, great granduncle. Gilman's descendants traveled from as far away as Alaska for the ceremony. The effort to replace Gilman's old worn headstone was sparked by family two years ago. We're standing there looking at that stone and saying, this, my daughter said, Dad, this can't be left like this. Family members worked with the cemetery and local American Legion posts to be sure their ancestor is honored properly. Helping members of this community and future generations understand the important contributions that this Granite State are made. Over the weekend, a group of authors visited several other Patriot graves across New Hampshire, photographing them for a series of books. Typically, we find uh, that about a third of the Patriot graves are in really bad shape. Publisher Lawrence Knorr says the Gilman grave would have been one they'd add to their website to be fixed. And point out the ones that actually need work, and we're looking for folks to adopt those and possibly do some work on them. Like the authors, the Gilman family saw a piece of of American history that needed some attention. For that stone to be there like that was an insult to Exeter, an uh, insult to the state of New Hampshire, an insult to the United States of America, and we have corrected that. In Exeter, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.